Question 1. You have been asked to do some work that will create dust. What should you do? Give one answer. A. Start the work. No controls are needed as dust cannot cause serious harm or injury. B. Use equipment to eliminate or reduce the dust and wear the correct personal protective equipment, PPE. C. Work for short periods at a time. Regular breaks will reduce the amount of dust you breathe in. D. You should not do the work because dust is highly dangerous. The correct answer is B. Use equipment to eliminate or reduce the dust and wear the correct personal protective equipment, PPE. Question 2. If someone is using a petrol cut-off saw, disc cutter, to cut concrete blocks near to pedestrians, what two immediate hazards will affect the pedestrians? Give two answers. A. An electric shock. B. Contact dermatitis. C. Flying fragments. D. Harmful dust. E. Vibration white finger. The correct answer is C and D. C. Flying fragments. D. Harmful dust. Which two materials are most likely to release silica dust when being cut with a rotating blade? Give two answers. A. B. C. D. E. The correct answer is A and B. Question 4. What is the main cause of long-term health issues in the construction industry? Give one answer. A. Being struck by a vehicle. B. Breathing in hazardous dust and fumes. C. Exposure to loud noise. D. Slipping and tripping. The correct answer is B. Breathing in hazardous dust and fumes. Question 5. Where are you likely to be exposed to the highest quantities of dust when drilling, cutting, sanding or grinding? Give one answer. A. Inside a large space. B. Inside a small room. C. Outside on a still day. D. Outside on a windy day. The correct answer is B. Inside a small room. Question 6. What is the best way to limit exposure to dust when using a power tool? Give one answer. A. Do the work quickly. B. Stand downwind of any dust. C. Stop dust getting into the air. D. Use the tool during wet weather. The correct answer is C. Stop dust getting into the air. Question 7. Which of the following activities does not create harmful silica dust? Give one answer. A. Breaking up concrete floors and screeds. B. Chasing out walls and mortar joints or sweeping up rubble. C. Cutting curbs, stone, paving slabs, bricks, and blocks. D. Sawing timber or plywood. The correct answer is D. Sawing timber or plywood. Question 8. After asbestos, which of the following causes the most ill health to construction workers? Give one answer. A. Diesel fumes. B. Resin, solvent and paint vapors. C. Silica dust. D. Wood and MDF dust. The correct answer is C. Silica dust. Question 9. What is the main risk to this worker, wearing only these items of personal protective equipment, PPE? Give one answer. A. Back injury, from poor posture. B. Breathing in harmful dust. C. Goggles misting up, limiting vision. D. Not being able to hear colleagues. The correct answer is B. Breathing in harmful dust. Question 10. What is the main risk to this worker, wearing only these items of personal protective equipment, PPE? Give one answer. A. Back injury, from poor posture. B. 
breathing in harmful dust. C. Goggles misting up, limiting vision. D. Not being able to hear colleagues. The correct answer is B. Breathing in harmful dust. Question 11. What is the most serious risk to this worker, wearing only these items of personal protective equipment, PPE? Give one answer. A. Back injury, from poor posture. B. Breathing in harmful dust. C. Goggles misting up, limiting vision. D. Not being able to hear colleagues. The correct answer is B. Breathing in harmful dust. Question 12. Pigeon droppings and nests are found in an area where you are required to work. What should you do? Give one answer. A. Carry on with your work carefully, so you don't disturb them. B. Stop work, do not touch anything, and seek advice. C. Try to catch the pigeons so you can move them out of the way. D. Wait for the pigeons to fly away before carrying on with your work. The correct answer is B. Stop work, do not touch anything, and seek advice. Question 13. How should water be used to reduce the level of dust when cutting concrete using a cut-off saw? Give one answer. A. Constantly the whole time the concrete is being cut. B. Constantly until you are halfway through the concrete cut, then stop. C. Enough to make the first cut, then no more will be required. D. Enough to wet the surface of the concrete before cutting. The correct answer is A. Constantly the whole time the concrete is being cut. Question 14. Before clearing up some rubble inside a building, why is it advisable to spray water on it? Give one answer. A. So it doesn't make a mess. B. To kill any insects in it. C. To prevent dust clouds. D. To save time. The correct answer is C. To prevent dust clouds. Question 15. What should you do if you find lots of old bird nests and droppings in an area you are working in? Give one answer. A. Carry on working and work around them. B. Check there are no live birds present, then carry on working. C. Stop working and speak to a supervisor to arrange for decontamination work. D. Sweep them up and put them in a bin liner immediately. The correct answer is C. Stop working and speak to a supervisor to arrange for decontamination work. Question 16. What best describes how workers should treat dust? Give one answer. A. Assume dust is not safe wherever they are working. B. Assume dust is safe if they are working outdoors. C. Assume dust is safe if they don't feel any ill effects. D. Assume dust is safe unless told otherwise. The correct answer is A. Assume dust is not safe wherever they are working. Question 17. Which of the following is not an immediate health effect of being exposed to paints and resins which have high levels of solvents? Give one answer. A. Dermatitis or skin problems. B. Drowsiness or poor coordination. C. Headaches and sickness. D. Muscular and skeletal disorders. The correct answer is D. Muscular and skeletal disorders. Question 18. Engine-driven equipment is being used in a deep excavation. Which of the following should be in place? Give one answer. A. A vehicle marshal. B. Additional excavation covers. C. Additional stop blocks. D. Gas monitoring alarms. The correct answer is D. Gas monitoring alarms. Question 19. Who can enter a confined space? Give one answer. A. Anyone who has completed an apprenticeship. 
B. Anyone who is trained, competent and authorized. C. Only competent machine drivers who have the correct license. D. Only site managers and supervisors of the company. The correct answer is B. Anyone who is trained, competent and authorized. Question 20. Which kind of personal protective equipment, PPE, equipment can protect your lungs from harmful vapors? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 21. Which material or substance is most likely to give off hazardous vapor? Give one answer. A. Dust. B. Glue. C. Rubber. D. Wet concrete. The correct answer is B. Glue. Question 22. What can cause occupational asthma? Give one answer. A. Breathing in hazardous dust, fumes, or vapors. B. Exposure to loud noise on a regular basis. C. Exposure to rat urine whilst working. D. Skin contact with any hazardous substance. The correct answer is A. Breathing in hazardous dust, fumes, or vapors. Question 23. Exposure to which of the following is unlikely to result in lung disease? Give one answer. A. Asbestos. B. Bird droppings. C. Silica dust. D. Strong smells. The correct answer is D. Strong smells. Question 24. Which item of personal protective equipment, PPE, is helping to protect the worker from nasal cancer? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 25. Asbestosis is associated with exposure to asbestos. Which part of the body does this disease affect? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 26. A construction worker has been exposed to concrete dust for a long period of time. What are they most likely to suffer from? Give one answer. A. Blurred vision. B. Headache or migraine. C. Hearing problems. D. Shortness of breath. The correct answer is D. Shortness of breath. Question 27. The chances of suffering from lung cancer are increased by what? Give one answer. A. Breathing in dust. B. Exposure to steam. C. Exposure to sunlight. D. Vibration from power tools. The correct answer is A. Breathing in dust. Question 28. When using a power tool to cut or grind materials, why should the dust be collected and not allowed to get into the air? Give one answer. A. A machine guard is not needed if the dust is collected. B. Most dust can be harmful if breathed in. C. The tool will go faster if the dust is collected. D. To save time and avoid having to clear up the mess. The correct answer is B. Most dust can be harmful if breathed in. Question 29. What potential disease is this worker unprotected from? Give one answer. A. Dermatitis. B. Nasal cancer. C. Skin cancer. D. Tetanus. The correct answer is B. Nasal cancer. Question 30. Hydrogen sulfide is a gas given off by rotting organic substances. Which two statements are true about hydrogen sulfide? Give two answers. A. 
it can cause unconsciousness in a few breaths. B. It can safely be detected by using a naked flame. C. It is a harmless natural gas. D. It is dangerous because it can disable the sense of smell. E. It is dark brown at room temperature. The correct answer is A and D. A. It can cause unconsciousness in a few breaths. D. It is dangerous because it can disable the sense of smell. Question 31. Which one of the following is true of repeated exposure to small doses of dust? Give one answer. A. Any effects will be immediately apparent. B. It can help to build up immunity. C. It is unavoidable and harmless. D. The effects will build up over time. The correct answer is D. The effects will build up over time. Question 32. What should you do if you need special respiratory protective equipment, RPE, to handle a chemical but no RPE has been provided? Give one answer. A. Do not start work until you have the correct RPE and training. B. Get on with the job, but try to work quickly to reduce exposure. C. Snip the substance to see if it makes you feel unwell. D. Start the work, but take regular breaks to reduce exposure. The correct answer is A. Do not start work until you have the correct RPE and training. Question 33. If you have been given a dust mask to protect you against hazardous fumes, what should you do? Give one answer. A. Do not start work until you have the correct respiratory protective equipment, RPE. B. Do the job wearing the mask but work as quickly as you can. C. Start work without a mask but take regular breaks outside. D. Wear a second dust mask on top of the first one, in order to increase the protection. The correct answer is A. Do not start work until you have the correct respiratory protective equipment, RPE. Question 34. The seal between an item of respiratory protective equipment, RPE, and a worker's face is most likely to be affected by which two of the following? Give two answers. A. Beard growth. B. Dust levels. C. Sunlight. D. The wearer's age. E. Wearing safety goggles. The correct answer is A and E. A. Beard growth. E. Wearing safety goggles. Question 35. Which two factors determine the appropriate type of respiratory protective equipment, RPE, to be used for a job? Give two answers. A. The amount of hazardous substances in the air. B. The amount of time since a hazardous spill. C. The type of hazardous substance. D. Whether the RPE is made of rubber or plastic. E. Whether the worker wants to wear RPE or not. The correct answer is A and C. A. The amount of hazardous substance in the air. C. The type of hazardous substance. Question 36. Which two of the following are basic filter types used in respiratory protective equipment, RPE? Give two answers. A. Dust or particle filters. B. Gas or vapor filters. C. Moisture filters. D. Smell or aroma filters. E. Sound filters. The correct answer is A and B. A. Dust or particle filters. B. Gas or vapor filters. Question 37. Which one of the following statements about respiratory protective equipment, RPE, is true? Give one answer. A. Employers must supply it at cost when it is needed. B. Employers must supply it free of charge when it is needed. C. Workers should provide their own. D. Workers should share the cost with the employer. 
The correct answer is B. Employers must supply it free of charge when it is needed. Question 38. How should contaminated respiratory protective equipment RPE, be considered when being disposed of? Give one answer. A. As compostable wastes. B. As hazardous waste. C. As normal waste products. D. As recyclable materials. The correct answer is B. As hazardous waste. Question 39. A particle filter is suitable for use in which one of the following situations? Give one answer. A. An oxygen deficient atmosphere. B. Presence of gases. C. Presence of vapors. D. When dust and fibers are in the air. The correct answer is D. When dust and fibers are in the air. Question 40. Why is it important to be clean shaven when using a half mask respirator? Give one answer. A. Facial hair can affect the seal around your face. B. Facial hair can block the filter more quickly. C. You may suffer an allergic reaction to the mask. D. You will be able to use the same mask for longer. The correct answer is A. Facial hair can affect the seal around your face. Question 41. Which of the following do you not need to do to ensure that someone's mask works? Give one answer. A. Check the mask is being worn correctly. B. Check the mask is the correct type needed. C. Check the mask underwater to make sure the seals are tight. D. Check the user has passed a face fit test while wearing the mask. The correct answer is C. Check the mask underwater to make sure the seals are tight. Question 42. The seal of your respiratory protective equipment, RPE, can be broken by which two things? Give two answers. A. A hearing aid. B. Earrings. C. Facial hair. D. Facial scarring. E. Makeup. The correct answer is C and D. C. Facial hair. D. Facial scarring. Question 43. What is the most important consideration when wearing respiratory protective equipment, RPE? Give one answer. A. Being able to smell. B. It has a good seal. C. It is the correct color. D. The weight is correct. The correct answer is B. It has a good seal. Question 44. If your respiratory protective equipment, RPE, is a bad fit, which one of the following is most likely to happen? Give one answer. A. It will break easily. B. It will filter more air. C. It will get damaged. D. It will not protect you. The correct answer is D. It will not protect you. Question 45. How often is it good practice to carry out repeat face fit tests for respiratory protective equipment, RPE? Give one answer. A. On a regular basis. B. On an ad hoc basis. C. When starting a new ship pattern. D. When starting work on a different site. The correct answer is A. On a regular basis. Question 46. Respiratory protective equipment, RPE, fit tests should be carried out by whom? Give one answer. A. A competent person in compliance with the law. B. A supervisor, in compliance with the law. C. The manager overseeing the work. D. The worker who will carry out the work. The correct answer is A. A competent person in compliance with the law. Question 47. 
Plant work requires the use of a power tool to cut or grind materials. Select the two best ways to control the dust. Give two answers. A. Fit a dust extractor or collector to the machine. B. Keep the arc clean and tidy. C. Wear a dust mask. D. Wet cutting. E. Work slowly and carefully. The correct answer is A and D.